What's up chess fans? I'm Grandmaster Max Lingworth and today I'll be sharing with you the most brilliant chess game ever shown in a chess movie. For the fellow movie buffs, you may recognize this position as being from the great game in From Russia With Love, the second movie in the James Bond series. And to set the scene for those of you that haven't seen the movie From Russia With Love, with Bond, well, this game comes from the finals of the Venice Chess Championship Tournament. And it's one where, as white, we have a Czechoslovakian chess grandmaster, uh, Kronstein, playing as white, uh, playing against uh, the Canadian chess master, Mac Adams, as black. And the really cool part to this game is that actually Kronstein was a secret Russian uh, undercover spy for the Spectre organization. And so they got to this position here in the game where it was black to play. Uh, those who are advanced chess players will probably be thinking, well, how can black save this position? But we're here for the true movie buffs who want to see a good story. So let's go. So in this position, what McAdams did is, McAdams played the move, bishop takes e5, and then after that we had, obviously, knight takes bishop. We Check. We can see that black is not in time to take the knight with the queen because take the knight capture has discovered a check against a black king here. To avoid that, black played the move king to h7. Uh, that's what Mac Adams played. But here, it was actually at this point, just after playing knight takes bishop, that Kronstein actually had this glass of water that was given to him. And what he did was he drank the glass of water and as he was drinking, he saw this message on this little, uh, you know, bit of paper underneath the cup, you know, to, uh, you know, protect the table. And he read, you know, you must leave immediately, you know, from the Spectre, you know, Soviet organization, uh, from that spy organization. And normally when you receive such a message as a spy in the Bond films, if you don't leave immediately, then you can actually be executed for violating the orders. But the thing is, Kronstein is a true chess professional and end up saying later well i couldn't leave right away and resign in this winning position i had to finish the game and get the win in order not to arouse any suspicion about resigning a one game at the key part of the championship because keep in mind this is also the final where kronstein and mcadams were both on 11 and a half points and the winner of this game would win the venice international chess championship so what Kronstein did here is he played the move queen to e4 check and after this check to the king what McAdams did was just legendary where McAdams said oh congratulations it was an absolutely brilliant game and just resigned by knocking the king over My congratulations sir a brilliant coup You might be wondering, well, why exactly did Mac Adams resign in this position? And the thing is, with most chess movies, you know, the chess buffs here will be able to remember those times where chess was referenced in a movie, but there are things like the color of the bottom right hand square being wrong, you know, where they show a chess ball with a black square instead of with a white square, or some other sort of chess mistakes as well. Like someone like saying check when it's not even check or some illegal position. We all know funny stories like that and it could be a good subject for another video another time. But for now let me show you why exactly McAdams resigned. The reason is that after the move, say King H8, if black moves his king out of check, 
Whitehead's a very nice combination that advanced players would probably have seen it already, but for SGR to show you the answer. So the most winning move that Force has made here is, well, it's not knight to g6 because then knight takes g6 covers the check, but we can remove the key defender of the king. Where I remember Ben Larson saying with a knight on f8, there can never be mate. So we remove the knight with rook takes f8, and by destroying the defender, it ensures our attack crashes through. After, say, queen takes f8, we put the knight to g6 with a fork, and then it's even a checkmate. After knight takes f8, we can see it's a double check, therefore black can't just take one of the checking pieces, as he would still be in check. And after king h8, we have queen h7 checkmate, ending the game just like that.